day, shout out one, shout out one. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, honor, doing to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Ruha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets. And never spread to the brothers, teach the truth all over the globe. You know, I just ran across this article, uh, you know, uh, you know, sometime a day, you know, probably like five or ten minutes ago. And if, you know, for those who don't know or those who are just waking up in the truth, you know, the title of this article is Extraordinary Act of Mercy. Brother of, of Botham Jean hugs and forgives Amber Geiger after 10 years sentence and polls. You know, for those who don't know about this article, it's about this, um, you know, this, this woman that, that uh, you know, she uh, purposely killed, you know, this guy's brother, you know, in two, 2018. And for you, for you Jays out there, y'all gonna learn that you should never trust your enemy. Because this woman killed this man, an unarmed, innocent Israelite man in cold blood murder. And yet you got these idiotic Jays that is quick to run and to forgive their enemy. Because they, because you Jays are brainwashed by Esau Edom to forgive them no matter what wrong they did unto you. And you quit to forgive them. Let's just say if your own, if another Jay would have done the same thing to his brother, he would have had this Jay thrown under the jail. And, and this is the, this is the, I was said, you know, this is the fucked up thing about our people, man. Our people are quick to forgive the enemy, but when it comes down to their own brother or their own sister, they won't forgive, but they quit to forgive the enemy. And the enemy has, pur this enemy has purposely killed your brother in cold blood murder. And I may, you know, and I heard about a story that there was some racist tweets, a racist text, coming from this, this officer, you know, that they killed this guy's brother. And and you Jace, man, y'all y'all, you know, you Jace are very simple minded. Because guess what? You quit to like I said before, you quit to forgive your enemy. But when it comes down to your own brother, which is another Israelite, you don't want to forgive him. You know, you harbor hatred towards him, but you quit to forgive your enemy. And the scripture tells us that we should forgive our brother. You know, in in his trespass, a brother is another Israelite. You know, we should forgive one another. That's an, that's another Israelite. You know, not your enemy, because your enemy, you know, your enemy always scheme and they always plot against you. You know, and your enemy is the one that hates you. How about Shiri How shall? First of all, they hate the most high anyway. They hate you because you you uh, the apple of the most eyes most eyes most eyes eye. You know they hate you. But yet uh scripture tells you to never trust your enemy. But yet you turn around and you still will forgive your enemy and they can just con constant gun and mow down your brother or your sister in the streets. But you just gonna learn the hard way, man. Y'all are gonna learn the hard way about what you're doing. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the article. And, you, and this is another article right here from RT News. You know, well, not RT News, but Yahoo.com. You know, it's Yahoo News. You know, it's lock it for that. You know, I'm going to put up on the screen again, you know, just in case you didn't see it. And we're going to go ahead and start with this article. You know, it reads, uh, Extraordinary at the mercy, brother of both of Gene Hugs and Forgives Amber Geiger after ten years ten year sentence opposed originally appeared on ABC News uh, ABC News dot go dot com. You know, from, and this, this is out of Dallas, Texas. So, you know, basically, you know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It said former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger was sentenced on Wednesday to serve 10 years in prison for for the fatal 2018 killing of an innocent man. 
she she shot when she mistakenly entered his apartment believing it was her own. And and let me tell you this, this this woman had every intent on killing this man. There ain't no way in the world that, you know, she walks in she don't know that's her own apartment. And she walks in another man's apartment and she fatally kills him in his own apartment. You know, they they can miss us with that nonsense. Because this woman had a, a malicious intent. And how we, I, she did not know that was her apartment. You tell me that this trained former Dallas police officer didn't, didn't have the IQ to know that she was going, she don't know where she stay at. Come on, man. You, you, got, you, got to, you got to be stupid to believe that that woman had every intent in going in that apartment and killing that man. And you just gonna learn that you are under the curses to your house shall return. You 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 just gonna understand. Uh, you gonna learn that that you that your enemy don't love you. Your enemy will kill you at every opportunity that they can get. You know they they gonna kill you every opportunity they gonna get. And this woman killed, one police officer killed an unarmed man, and she only get ten years for that. Ten years. You know, she basically probably get get five years on good behavior. You know, they that's just a little slap on the wrist that they gave her. She, if she did do a good behavior, she may get five years, and then she may be out, and and she might end up getting another police job. But let me tell you something. If if let's just say if a Jake went in there and he shot an unarmed uh either my you know so called white man, you know Jake would get the death penalty. I work. I better yet, he would get life in prison without the possibility of parole. That shows you the wickedness of this society, man. That shows you the corruption on how this society is. You know, if Jay would have shot an unarmed, you know, Caucasian man, or uh, Caucasian woman, that that Jay would get life in prison. Well, you, this this shows you how this society is, you know, is is against you so-called Jays. But yeah, you turn around, you'll forget your enemy. You'll turn around, you'll you'll hug your enemy like your how by swimming how shy is gonna be pleased with that. He's not pleased with that. And we told you, Jay's time and time again, that the most high is not dealing with these other nations. He's not dealing with Esau either. He's not dealing with the so called white man, our so called white woman. We told you, show you in the scripture that he rejected Esau. He rejected Esau. And he showed his hatred. You know, Esau showed his hatred towards you, Jace, man. You telling me that this woman, you know, mistakenly in his apartment believing it was her own. You got to not have no, you got to have no type of IQ to sit there and believe that nonsense. That woman had every tent on going in that apartment and killing that man in cold blood murder. And she supposed to be a trained police officer. Y'all, y'all just gonna learn that you you never trust your enemy, you know. And I'm gonna get that scripture later on. But continue on with the article. You know, sorry about the rent. You know, this made me upset when one of our brothers get killed by the the so-called police officers, and they trying to kill you know our people. But yet our people are very stupid. They sat there and still will forgive them after what they have done. But continuing on. It said, but in a remarkable act of kindness, the brother of the victim uh, took the witness stand and spoke directly to Gaga, saying, I love you like anyone else, and later hugged her in the courtroom before she was led off to prison. You know, that shows you our people are so mentally brainwashed by this society. You know, they're so mentally brainwashed. In the scriptures, like I said before, and I said again, the scriptures tell us clearly. You should never trust your enemy. You know, you never should trust your enemy. But yet, you know, when you tell our people that, you know, they overlook the scriptures. We have enemies. You you just gonna wake you just gonna realize that you got enemies. Everybody every other nation hates you hate you Jace, man. Every other nation benefited off your slavery. Every other nation plotted to try to destroy you. If it weren't for Yahweh Shem Hashem have his hand upon his people, 
all of, all of Israel be wiped out. All you black Latino Native Americans will have been wiped out. But guess what? Y'all gonna learn the hard way when Jacob Trouble come. You know that same woman that that, that, that the brother of this guy, guy hood, that same woman when Jacob Trouble come, she gonna get her weapon, she gonna get her gun, she gonna go out there and she gonna murder a lot of you Jays, man. And that's straight fact. These, these devils, man, these devils are ruthless. These devils don't give a damn about your life. They don't give a damn about you. But yeah, you run up there hugging this thing. Like, how about she and how shy, you know, is going to, uh, you know, he's very pleased that he's not pleased that he don't give a damn about these Edomites. These Edomites hate your guts. They have a perpetual hatred towards you. And you know what? Let me get a scripture. Let me get Genesis 27, chapter 27, and round verse 40. You know, y'all just going to learn. Y'all just going to learn today. Y'all going to learn that the enemy hates you, man. They have a perpetual hatred towards you. It, and the reason why, if you can read the chapter you said it, uh, yourself, it, it's all about that birthright and blessing. It's a, it's a, a generation of hatred. And now, let me, before I get there, let me get Genesis 25, you know, roughly around the, uh, uh, let, me, let me see if I can find it. You know, it, it's 25 and, you know, and, and uh, 25 and, uh, let me start at 21. It reads, and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. Because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And that shows you right there that Esau and Jacob was fighting in the womb. They were never meant to get along. You know, you just got to understand that you were, ne you were never meant to get along with Esau. You were never meant to get along with the so-called white man. Why? Because guess what? It was prophesied in the scriptures that that the, the Esau and Jacob was fighting in the womb. They was never meant to get along. And and why? Because verse 23 tells us, And the Lord said unto her, Two na nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. That means there was even though they were twin brothers, but get what they they was two different manners of people. And and listen to this. It said, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Yahweh by Shem Yahushua already prophesied that that Jacob is going to be stronger than Esau, and and Esau is going to be serving Jacob. And, and it happened. And it, and it happened. Within the so-called dark ages, man, it happened in in so-called dark ages when Israel was ruling over Esau and they had them in in captivity. But since because of uh, since because our people disobeyed the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High, when served other gods and not taking the word of the Most High seriously, and di and this will happen, you know, tw uh, Genesis chapter twenty-seven. And we'll get to the point. It, it said verse 40, it, it reads, and this is when I, I said we'll give, you know, give a blessing to Esau. And, you know, Jacob already got the bigger blessing, which is the kingdom that, that comes after this, after uh, this uh, life. But let's continue on. It said, Genesis 27, 40, it said, and by thy sword shall I live and, and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion. He, Thou, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau has the dominion right now because Job 9 24 said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Esau, Edom has dominion right now over the whole entire globe. You know, what, what, uh, and he said, By thy sword thou shalt live. And what is his sword? You know, how is he ruling? He ruling by his sword. His sword in this, this society. Today's time is the modern day gun. You know, it's the modern day nuclear missiles. You know, all the fancy weaponry. The most high gave Esau the technology to have all the fancy weaponry. 
you know, it by thy sword thou shalt live. You know, talking about Esau. And he has the dominion right now. Because it's prophesied in the scriptures that he has the dominion. And in verse 41 said, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. And that shows you right there that Esau have a hatred towards you, Jace, man. You know, so-called white man has a hatred towards you, black, Latino, Native Americans. But you refuse to listen. You could all, you could take it further back with Cain and Abel. Cain rose up and slew his brother because he was jealous of Abel. Because Abel's works were righteous and his works were evil. And, and, and you know, uh, Yahweh didn't accept the works of Cain, you know. He didn't accept because we call Cain was wicked. You know, Cain gave what he wanted to give. He knew the sacrifice he was supposed to give, but he refused to give it. He gave what he wanted to give, and most high rejected his sacrifice. And, you know, and, and you just got to understand that you can't, I don't care how much you trying to save this devil, man. That you cannot save him. And, and, and this one right here, she's going to go into slavery. She's going to go into slavery. And there's no way you can get around that. You can't sit there and act, act like that what this woman did, and you hugged the woman, that's going to, you know, Most High going to have mercy on her. Most High ain't going to have mercy on her. Most High rejected Esau. Let me get Hebrews 12, 16, 17. Since y'all don't want to believe it. Since y'all think the Most High loves everybody. You know, for you wacky tacky Christians out there. You think the most high loves everybody. Guess what? He don't love everybody. Let me get scripture. Hebrews 12 and starting at verse 16. It reads, Let there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. He, for he found no place of repentance, though he started carefully with tears. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai rejected Esau. He rejected him. He, he, you know, I don't care how many tears he cried. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not going to forgive Esau. And he's not going to forgive him. And I just read to you right there. He was rejected. And he still is rejected. The scripture said, and he said, I am the Lord and I change not. I believe that's in Malachi chapter 4. You know, he said, I am the Lord, and I change not. So he's not going to change his mind by Esau. I don't I don't give a damn how many times did, 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 uh, did Jay hear hers, did, hers did want this uh, former Dallas police officer. You know, the most high is it, not going to forgive her. You know what I'm saying? She's rejected. But you just got to learn to quit being stupid, man. You got to, you need to get in the scripture. You need to understand who your enemy is. You know, I want to hold off on scripture, but I'm going to go ahead and bring it out. This is, this is in the Apocrypha, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12. It says, and it's starting at verse 10. It said, never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rust is so it is wickedness. You know, you should never trust your enemy. Because, guess what, your enemy always scheming, always trying to do wicked, wickedness towards you. Verse 11, it reads, Though he humbled himself and go crouching, yet, and take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be uh, unto him as if thou had wiped a looking glass. And, and thou shalt know that his rust had not altogether been right to wipe away. And that tells you right there, even, you know, even though that he said, I love you, brother. You know, I have a love towards you, brother. You got to be aware of these damn devils, man. You have to be aware of these goddamn devils. You know, these devils, you know, these devils are purely wicked, man. These devils are looking for an occasion to overthrow you. And this says it right here in the scriptures. Never trust thy enemy. But you just don't want to hear it. You don't want to for you don't want to forbear the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And you got this 
you got this stupid Israelite hugging this Edomite woman, talking about, I love you. That woman don't love you. That woman sat there, went into your brother's apartment, killed him in cold blood and murdered him. Killed your brother in cold blood and murdered him. That woman had every intent on, on going into that man's house and killing that man. You Jays are very fucking stupid, man. You gonna sit there and you gonna forgive this woman for what she did. And this same Edomite woman was the same one that caused a lot of you goddamn Jays to be hung in, in the slavery time. You know, that same woman cried rape over on a lot of you Jays out there. And a lot of Jays ain't even doing anything to that woman. This woman cried rape and get what? Your forefathers was hung on a tree over this so-called goddamn devil, man. But you got this idiotic, idiotic Jake on here hugging a woman, talking about he love her. That woman don't love you. That woman will always have a perpetual hatred towards you. Even when she go into slavery in the kingdom of heaven, she's still going to harbor that hatred towards you. These devils ain't going to change, man. These devils are not going to fucking change. You need to wake the hell up and realize that they're not going to change. You know, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. It reads, Say, say him not by thee, lest when he had overthrown, overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Never let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thine seat. And thou, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Verse 13, it says, Who will pity a charmer that has been with a serpent, or any such come out unto wild beasts? That that's that's a question. That who's gonna pin a who's gonna pity a charmer when he got bit by a damn snake? You know who's gonna pity this man when the same woman and if she get out goes out and kill him? Who's gonna pity him? Because we want the prophets and men of the Lord have warned you jays time and time again. Stop trusting these goddamn devils, man. Stop trusting these devils. These devils ain't going to do nothing but continue to shoot your people down in the streets. They don't give a damn about you. You know, let me get Jeremiah 37, man. Y'all don't believe what's going to happen. I got to bring, you know, got to bring it out because y'all don't believe it. Y'all think these, de these devils still love you. You know, even though... That it, 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 you know, even though that all the world are gonna feel it, but you is like you, you just y'all gonna feel it the worst. Is it? It said, uh, uh, it, it reads, alas, for that day is great, and so there's none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, for he, for he shall be saved out of it. You know, it's uh, like, you know, it's the time of Jacob's trouble. You know he's going to be saved. He's going to be saved out of it, and and you just gonna to have to understand that uh, uh you just gonna to have to understand that you're gonna feel it the worst, and it's gonna be it's gonna be by these so-called goddamn devils, man. You know these martial law troops are gonna roll in on you. These martial law troops are gonna roll in on you, goddamn Jays, man. You know. Let me get Isaiah 59 and 19. Y'all still don't believe it. Y'all don't believe it. Isaiah 59 and 19. It is a, a lot if I, okay. It is. So it reads, So shall they fear, so, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of of Yahweh shall lift up a standard against them, and the and the enemy is gonna be them damn martial law troops. They're gonna come in like a flood, and they're gonna be killing you, Jays, man. It's gonna be a time of Jacob trouble. They ain't gonna give a damn about your feelings. They're gonna be rounding you up. They're gonna be putting in you in concentration camp. But you don't believe it. Let me get a uh, Revelation two and ten. Y'all don't believe it. Y'all think it is a damn game. Y'all still want to trust your enemy. Y'all still want to trust your enemy. Let me get Revelation 2 and 10. Y'all still want to trust your enemy. Okay, the eerie of uh, this. 
It said, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. This Yahweh shall talk. You know, the son of Yahweh. This Yahweh shall say this. Fear none, of, fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Even though they're talking to the hopeful elect, that they're going to be tried and tested. But it said the devil shall cast some of you in a prison. A lot of you are going to be rounded up in that prison is some damn female camps. A lot of you jays are going to be rounded up into them female camps. Y'all going to be rounded up by the, by, the, by the same woman right here in this picture. This same woman is going to round, round, uh, round up a lot of you jays in them female camps. The same one that this man, you know, stupid, you know, stupid enough to go hug and talk about some Thomas, he, he love you like anyone else. You got to be stupid, man. This woman killed your brother in cold blood murder. She killed your brother in cold blood murder, and she believed it was her own apartment. That woman had every intention on killing your brother. But you know what? Let, let me continue on. It said the Dallas County jury reached a unanimous decision on the sentence, on the sentence. Just before 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, after deliberating for a little over an hour, they know that this woman did it. They know that woman killed this man in cold blood murder. You know, they they know that this woman killed that man in cold blooded murder. And they knew it. They knew it. It, didn't, it. it really shouldn't even take that long to make a decision. Well, they know she killed that man. They know she deliberately went into that man's house, apartment, his place of residence, and went and shot him in cold blood murder. It's time she thought her own apartment. That one was a goddamn lie. She knew she knew she had an intent on going in there killing that man. But this Jake is this Jake gonna walk and go go in the courtroom and he's gonna hug the one time I love you. That woman don't love you, man. She don't give a damn about you. You think that woman has some remorse on what she did to your brother? That woman ain't got no goddamn remorse, man. If that woman could have got away with it. She would not turn herself in. She would continue on doing what she's doing. She would continue on working at the police force like nothing's ever happened. You just are going to learn, man. These police officers, Edomite police officers, kill your people in cold blood murder. And they, let me get Zachariah let him fire. Y'all still don't believe me. My goodness. You, you just up, boy. Y'all something else, man. Y'all something else. Uh, uh, Zechariah chapter 11 verse 5. It reads, Who possess to slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Not guilty. They slay your people in the streets and they and they say they are not guilty. And they that said them said, Blessed be the Lord for I am rich and their own shepherds pay them not. Where your Al Sharpton's at? Crying out against this. These, I, you know, these so-called shepherds don't give a damn, man. Only the real men, Lord, is crying out against this injustice. We're crying out to you, how about you, how to set the record straight. Because we are tired of this goddamn devil, man. We're tired of his wickedness. We're tired of what he's doing. He's shooting our people in cold blood murder. You got, you get, you tired of, of shit like this. This woman killed this man in cold blood murder. And she only getting a slap on the wrist. Ten damn years. Ten years, and she may get off on five on good behavior. This woman ain't getting no damn sentence, man. This is injustice right here, man. This is fucking injustice. If Jay would have shot and killed the Edomite woman, and would, I would kill the Edomite man, you know, shot and killed him, he would have life in prison, or he would get the death penalty. You had Jay's that didn't even do anything, would serve almost serving life term in prison. And they was innocent. And they and they get and they lose thirty or forty years of their life over a crime that they didn't commit. But you got this woman killed this Jake in cold blood murder. She is only getting ten years. You Jace are very stupid, man. Y'all sitting there, y'all uh sitting there and you talking about you supposed to forgive. The Bible said forgive. Yeah, you forgive your own people. You forgive your own brothers and sisters, which are Israelites. 
That's who you forgive. 